We're outside. We're doing comedy outside on the on just on the street right now. We're just doing comedy on the street right now. <laughs> It's gonna go great. This is my favorite thing to do. This is my favorite place to do it on university. This is the only place I've ever done it on university, I'll be honest. This is hey, the first guys. time you've been here. Oh, that's, that's the first time I've been here. Okay. Just once, I would give my right nut to hear a coach at the end of the game be like, well, we had a good day out there. We executed pretty well. And I'd like to give a big 10-4 to my dark lord, Satan. <laughs> yes! Friends. No, you can walk through, it's okay. Welcome to the show. You're part of it. Every later. Um, this is a really good spot. I think this is the first hookah bar that I've ever been to that didn't seem like it was a drug front. <laughs> I think you're actually doing real business here. It's not just like one guy who seems like inconvenienced by the fact that you came in to order a hookah. I regret dropping out of college at this moment entirely, you guys. <laughs> Right? I want to share with you guys the safest space that I have found so far in life is the women's bathroom. Around 1 or 2 a.m. This is important. You can't go any earlier than that, right? No one gives a shit about what's going on in the bathroom at 10. But by 2, there is at least one woman who is drunk enough to be super invested in whatever problem you have going on. It's true. I saw the best bio on Tinder I've ever seen. It was this girl, she's like, um, she's like, fell asleep in Rhode Island, woke up in Arizona. That girl was kidnapped, you guys. I did have a question. Who's drinking coffee right now so they can drink alcohol later? Like, who's just gearing up?